Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to use the North Platte NRD's recreational mapping application. I'm going to show you how to use mapping, video, and web components of this application. As you can see, the opening page of this web application allows you to interact with areas open to the public for recreational purposes. Roll your mouse forward and backwards to zoom in and out on the map. Click or tap on an orange icon to open a pop-up with information about an area. After you click or tap on an icon, a pop-up should appear with more information about the area. Here I've clicked or tapped on the Murphy Ranch. In the pop-up you can see more information about the area, such as the area's name, the owner-manager, a brief description of the area, and a link to an interactive map of the area if available. On the right side of the screen is an interactive ribbon you can use to navigate throughout the application. Hover your cursor over the ribbon and roll the cursor up or down to scroll through the content in the ribbon. You can also click or tap on the white dots or white arrows on the right side of the screen to navigate throughout the application. When you hover over a white dot, it will let you know the name of this part, particular part of the section of the application. As we scroll down the ribbon, the first portion that we get to of the application is the index. The index allows you to interact with both websites and interactive web maps of the different public areas that are listed on this application. For instance, we can go over here to the Mons Ranch, click on the picture, and it will bring up a website with information of the Mon Mons Ranch. We can go back, click on the name Mons Ranch, and it takes us to an interactive web map of the Montserrat's location. As we continue to scroll down the application, we come to the Conservation Partners portion of the application. As you scroll through this application, you'll see information about conservation groups uh, on the right side of the application and be able to interact with maps or websites on the left side of the application. Using the white dots on the right-hand side of the ribbon, let's move to the Platte Verbation portion of this application. Here you can see information on Platte River Basin Environments portion of the application. This part of the app provides you information about the organization on the right and the ability to interact with the organization's website on the left. See how I can interact with Preby's website. I'll click on About Us and it takes us to the About Us portion of Preby's website. Now let's take a look at the area description slash mapping portion of the application. As you continue to scroll down the ribbon, you will see public areas featured on the application. On the right, you'll see a description of the area where you can find out information about where the area is located, what flora and fauna you can find there, historical highlights of the area, and much more. On the left is an interactive web map that allows you to zoom in and out by rolling uh, the wheel of your mouse or using the zoom tool in the upper, upper left-hand portion of the map. Again, you can interact with the map by clicking on points, lines, or polygons to bring up pop-ups to get more information about it, a feature. These spotlights include historical features, biological features not like notable wildlife, plants, or habitat types. You can also get more information by clicking on the or tapping on the legend at the top of the map to see what things, different things on the map stand for. There's a link in the area description pop-up that takes you to an interactive web map of the application. For most of the areas featured in this application, we have created 3D animations in the form of YouTube videos. Let's scroll down to the Bead Mountain portion of the application. When available, below the description of the area, you'll find a YouTube video that is a 3D animation of the topography of the area. Let's scroll down to find that YouTube video. Here we can see the YouTube video. When we hit play, a 3D animation will appear If 
you click on the full screen button here, you can make the video larger. Hitting Escape will return you to the normal view. This video is done to give you a better idea of what the area will be like when you go out there to participate in an activity like hiking or horseback riding. Back to the area map, let's tap on Bead Mountain uh, and a pop-up should appear. Tap on the map app link, hyperlink, to open up the interactive web map application. This map is very similar to the map that we've been using with a number of additional components. In addition to what you just saw in the previous map, you can draw on the map using the draw tool here. Click or tap on the, the drawing tool and you get, you get an interface that looks like this. You can draw points, lines, triangles, rectangles, and polygons. Let's draw a polygon. We'll also click on show measurements. This allows you to put in the type of units that will be measured when you draw on your application. We're going to put this in acres and distance units in miles. All right, let's draw a polygon of this meadow area here. So as I click along the area, it starts to draw a polygon. Come over here across, double click to finish. You can see that area is 14.9 acres or 0.6 miles for the perimeter of the area. So this tool allows you to mark up the map and get measurements. You can also put text onto the map. Uh, you can also locate yourself on the map using the GPS component of the map. By clicking on the find your location button, if you're out on the area, it will show your location on the map. The layer list allows you to turn different layers on and off. I can turn the north arrow off, the area vistas, public in input, so on and so forth so that you can customize the map to look the way that you want it to. The measure button allows you to measure distance and area. So I can click on the measure button, click on a distance, click from one point to the other. I'll tell you that me that's almost 0.4 miles, it's 0.38 miles. The print button allows you to take the map that you've marked up and print it out as a PDF. You can change the map title to whatever you want and then it will print the document to a PDF. The home button allows you to return to the original extent of the map. So if I zoom in, click on the home button, it goes back to the original extent. All the areas featured in the journal app have a web app like this one. Closing the interactive web map, we return to the journal application. The final section we'd like to hi highlight is the one about recreational activities. Let's scroll down the ribbon to find the recreational activities portion of the app. Here we have the recreational activities section. In this section, you can find maps for a specific activity, like hunting, hiking, fishing, horseback riding, and also find information about historical locations. These maps are also interactive. You can click on a location and get more information about the area. Here's one for biking. Click here, find more information about that area. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. We hope you enjoy our application.